Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I got a brand new stock for you today, Tyler Technologies. And in this video, I wanna tell you why I just added this to my portfolio. All right guys, let me tell you just a little bit about what Tyler Technologies does. Then we'll look at some of their metrics, some of their numbers, performance, growth highlights, so I can tell you exactly why I think this is a great buy and why I'm adding Tyler Technologies to my portfolio today. So Tyler Technologies, their, their ticker is TYL. They specialize in providing software solutions for information management and technology targeting the public sector. Their key clients include state, local governments, school systems, and federal entities. Just look at some of their revenue streams. They do software licenses, subscription plans, installation, setup services, maintenance and support, land and tax appraisal services, hardware sales. They even do like electric document filling and management solutions and payment solutions. So Tyler Ames guys, when you put all that together, they're aiming to be a comprehensive provider for the technological needs of government entities with a strong focus on local governments. So now let's take a look real quick at their performance, some of their growth highlights, and then I wanna talk about their financial strength because that's huge when it comes to why I'm adding this to my portfolio. So Tyler Technologies, they often operate under the radar despite being a strong performer in an unfamiliar market. Look at their stock performance. Over the past two years, guys, Tyler has seen a 44% increase in stock price, outperforming the S&P 500 by 10%. And that's what you wanna see, guys. You wanna see stocks that are beating the S&P 500, beating the market. Look at their financial performance in Q2 2024. Revenue growth, 7.3%, reaching $541 million. Their organic revenue growth was 6.5%. Their recurring revenue growth, 8.4% increase reaching 449 million. That, may now, that now makes up 83% of their total revenue. That's a huge metric, guys. 83% of their revenue is recurring. And they're focusing on converting their services to cloud-based subscriptions, and that has been super successful. Uh, when it comes to new deals, they've had 231 new software deals in Q2 2024. 88% of their new deals were for subscription services, an improvement over their 83% in Q2 2023. Now guys, on a contract value basis, 97% of new contract value came from subscriptions, up from 82% last year. 97%, that's huge. All right, but let me tell you a little bit about, uh, our, let's just mention their financial strength, give you some of the numbers, and then I'll tell you who should consider Tyler Technologies and whose portfolio this would fit into. So they've had some big improvements on cash flow. Their positive operating cash flow, 64.3 million. Their positive free, uh, that was their operating cash flow. Their free cash flow is 48.6 million. Both of these metrics improved from last year's cash burn and they've been reducing their debt. This is massive, guys. This is a big reason why they got my attention. Tyler significantly reduced its debt from $1.3 billion at the end of 2021 to only 600 million as of last quarter, cutting their debt in half, oh, less than half. So who is Tyler Technologies for? Anybody that's looking for a keyword proven stock. This is a proven tried and true stock and if you're looking to diversify into lesser known, underfollowed markets, Tyler Technology might be for you. Definitely adding this into my portfolio to diversify a little bit. I'll tell you who this isn't for. If you feel like you already have sufficient exposure to software services, then maybe you wanna diversify away from that because this is a software services company. Now, we gotta talk a little bit about the risks. Okay, I wanna give you these very important that you know what these risks are, and then I'll put it all together for you and tell you exactly why, and in a sentence or two, why I'm adding this to my portfolio. Tyler Technologies is sensitive to the economy. They could face growth challenges if the economy slows, despite not being consumer facing. Here's why. 
local governments, that's Tyler's main client, they derive much of their revenue from property and sales taxes. Remember that, property and sales taxes. So a decline in property values or consumer spending could reduce local government budgets, leading to slower IT and software investments. Politicians may favor tax breaks over IT services in tough economic times, limiting growth opportunities. So that's one of the big risks, guys, is just, it's sensitive to the economy. Number two, though, is their acquisition strategy. Now, this can be a plus or a negative, but Tyler has grown through small acquisitions, and that's good. They were small acquisitions. They integrate new technology services into their platform. Anytime a company, though, is building itself on acquisitions, there's the risk that they could overpay for an acquisition, or maybe that acquisition doesn't integrate well into their company, which could hurt growth and performance. So just keep that in mind, guys. Those are the two big issues I see with Tyler. Economic sensitivity and then their acquisition strategy. Okay, guys, let's put it all together. Let me tell you why I bought Tyler Technologies. Because I think it's positioned well in a niche market with limited competition and it offers significant growth potential and they've got a history of market beating returns. Putting all that together, that's really what I think uh, Tyler Technologies brings to the table. So now's a good time to revisit Ty Tyler Technologies if it hasn't already been on your radar and I'm gonna be adding Tyler Technologies to my portfolio for the first time here on the channel. Now guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel guys for more videos like this. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, what do you think about Tyler? Do you think this is a good buy or not? I wanna know your opinions. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Take it easy and peace.